What up Sailor Senji? My name is Sailor Snubs and welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and sometimes even tutorials. Today I have my bag down here is like slowly falling on its side so you will probably hear a bunch of like plastic getting gathered at the bottom of the floor. So anyway, I have a whole bunch of unboxings for you today. This is a whole slew of products from Taiwan and Hong Kong and I think South Korea as well. So just like previously, I've done one of these roundups before, this is going to be a slew of products that were only available for a limited time over in Asian countries. Now unfortunately, I don't believe you can find any of these currently available online, but you can find them sometimes on Mandrake and eBay. Uh, it's kind of weird whenever they do show up on Mandrake because that means somebody in Japan purchased them from those Asian countries, but I guess it's just like, you know, having them ship something here to America and then me reselling it on eBay. So now I have seen some of those things show up on eBay for like three times the price, so they are more expensive, but I will do my best to give you a general idea of how much these cost while I go through the unboxing so that you know or you have a good idea of how much I was spending on this stuff. So I'm gonna probably start with the bag and get everything out of the boxes so you can see everything and then I'll go through each of the products. Okay, so I have everything unboxed and there's a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and break into it. And uh, while I'm doing this, I did want to mention, I ended up getting a few doubles of things, so I think I'm going to include a few of those items in a future giveaway. And so subscribe if you want to be a part of that giveaway. And uh, yeah, I think it's because I purchased these from multiple sellers and I forgot what I had bought. So don't make that mistake. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and start with a couple of these smaller items and I'm just going to try to swing through them really quickly so that you're not stuck here forever. These first two items are microfiber mats. They're not microfiber cloths to use for things. These are actually supposed to be made. Uh, they're more stiff material and they have this really pretty uh, kind of embossed texture around the edges, but you're supposed to lay it flat on some kind of, you know, table or whatever and stick things on it. So you could use these as mouse pads, for example, or you could use them to put your glasses on or leave your jewelry on or whatever. I'll probably just use them as part of my display up here. Both of them are really pretty and kind of shiny and they feature all of the senshi all together. I also got a whole series of different uh, clear files because all of them were pretty inexpensive. This first one features traditional anime style of all of the senshi. Uh, this isn't new art whatsoever, but it's very pretty. And on the back it says Sailor Moon. The next one I got is Super Sailor Moon, and this I do believe is new art. Very pretty image of her kind of like floating away, I guess, uh, with some pretty ribbons behind her and a lot of glitter. Same Sailor Moon silhouette on the back of that one. Then I got Neo Queen Serenity and King Endymion on one of these, and they do have the time door behind them, which I thought was really cool. That one also has the same Sailor Moon uh, silhouette on the back. This one is from Crystal. So this one features the inner senshi on the front of it with some really cool art of them in their school uniforms. And on the back we have all of the outer senshi in their Mugen Academy school uniforms. So very, very pretty art of all of them and I really like the detailing in the backgrounds. The last clear file is by far my absolute favorite and this one is beautiful and I'm surprised it was so inexpensive. I believe each of these was like maybe 400 yen or about four bucks or so, or maybe six bucks, so pretty inexpensive altogether. So I love this clear file because it features all of the inner senshi along with Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon, and it's beautiful art. It's definitely not like the same traditional art that you would see from the anime. It has a lot more detail, and it's on this really pretty like metallic-y clear file, so definitely worth it, and it's a collector's piece for sure. It's just so pretty. Uh, on the back it says, in the name of the moon I'll punish you, and then it has the silhouette of Sailor Moon. So that's it for clear files, and then I got a couple of bags. Now I am not listing out which stores all of these came from, because the stores were like pop-up shops and s collaborations and stuff like that, and they're from multiple different countries. I believe these two bags were from Hong Kong, and they were with a restaurant like a dim sum restaurant or something like that. I don't know, very weird collaboration, but this is a clear bag. Definitely smells like plastic, that's for sure. It has traditional anime Sailor Senshi on the front of it, and then on the back it says in Japanese, 
Bishojo Senshi Sera Moon. And then it says, yeah, Dim Sum Icon Sailor Moon. So this is from that collaboration. Uh, this one is a little bit dirty, but that's because I've been using it for travel and it's really great for travel because it's nice and big. But this is from the same collaboration. It has like a canvas on the inside and then the outside has this plastic cover over it. So that might actually be really good for like taking it to the beach, but it has the same art on the front and the same information on the back with the dim sum collaboration. There's also no lining on the inside of this one, but it does have a little pocket so you can stick small items in there. All right, next up, I got a few plushy items. So this first plushy item, <laughs> I just say that because it's like super plush. Uh, this is a very small throw. I was expecting this to be a lot bigger, to be honest, but it's pretty tiny. So maybe I'll give this to my cats. I don't know, it's it's so small, like I could barely fit underneath this thing. But maybe it's just supposed to be like a designer throw, like you throw this on your couch and never use it. But it features all of the outer senshi, all of the inner senshi from Sailor Moon Crystal. Really nice art, very nice detailing. I really like it. I also got, don't laugh at me, I got a pair of slippers. Actually, they should go like this. These are cute little rabbit Usagi slippers. They're so cute. They have the little Usagi bunny from her bedspread and things like that. And then at the very end, there's a little tail, which is so cute, a little rabbit tail. It says Sailor Moon Crystal on it. It has kind of a bedspread print on here. However, it should be purple if it was actually like, you know, just like the show. And then the front has a little fuku bow and it's super, super soft. It's very, very plush on the inside. So I don't know if my feet can fit in here. If they can't, I will probably give these away or something, but they are so cute, so I just had to get these. Along with the slippers, I also got this, which I, I love. It's so cute, and it's so squishy, and it's so soft. This is a light pink colored bunny. It is from Sailor Moon Crystal. It's got embroidery eyes on it, and then the back says Sailor Moon, and it's this really cute print for the font. It's all embroidered, so it won't come off or anything like that, and it's just so soft. I just love it. It kind of reminds me of like a peep's head. Like I kind of want to eat it. I'm so hungry right now. Now I have an LED touch lamp. This is from Hong Kong. Uh, I believe that you can actually get this via proxies right now if it's still in stock. This is supposed to be a lamp that you can actually touch to turn on and off. The back of it, which is written in English, which is wonderful, says it has a low blue light and you tap the light to control. You touch the control with seven lev levels of brightness and it's USB plug rechargeable. Let's see how big the battery is. The battery capacity is 1000 milliamp per hour, 3.7 volts, and the input is five volts, uh, 500 milliamp per hour. So it looks like, okay, so charging time is two hours and it will operate for 10 hours to 100 hours. And of course that varies depending on how often you use it. So if you leave it on for like a full time, then it'll probably last 10 hours. That's not bad, actually, that's pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna end up um, taking this out of the box and I will plug it in and let you know how the light looks and everything. I'll try to get some B-roll of that before I put this video out so you can actually see it in action since it will take a little bit of time to actually charge up. A few things just right out of the box that I noticed. Um, her face looks a little bit derpy, I'll be honest. It does look derpy. The moon is rubberized. It's a rubber texture all the way around. So I think that's probably just to protect the light on the inside of it um, and probably to reverberate your touches so that it vibrates whenever you touch it so that the light knows. And the paint job looks pretty good on here. So it looks like a nice little figure. It's adorable. Like I feel like this would be really cute in a kid's room, for example, especially since it's rechargeable So and it's rubber. So I feel like it would be really hard to break. So yeah, this is cute. I can't wait to use it. Now I have a couple of posters. And if you're wondering about the prices on most of this stuff, I know I got the touch lamp for under a hundred bucks. It's very pricey right now. Uh, the pillow I believe was around $30. The throw and all the other stuff was probably around like 15, 20 bucks each, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Uh, these two posters were pretty inexpensive. Both of these, I believe, were under 10 bucks each. 
So remember that clear file, this has the exact same print on it, but it is not metallic. So this is a very simple uh, poster, but I'm excited to frame this because it has beautiful art. I just love this art, it's so pretty. And this is the other poster that I got. Um, both of these feature Sailor Moon crystal art. This one has all of the senshi on it, and it's also a beautiful poster as well, so I really like the art on this one too. Okay, I think that wraps it up for all the big stuff that I got from the Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, South Korea collaborations. So the next items I got are all little things. Uh, first off, I will show you this. This is a reusable bag that you can zip up, and I have been using this, and I love it. I actually took this with me to the Sailor Moon uh, the Super Live musical in Washington DC back in March and it lasted perfectly. It was it was just big enough for all of the little things that I decided to purchase while I was there. So the way this works, on the inside of this zipper pouch, it actually holds this big tote bag. Now this tote bag does have a bunch of exterior art on it. It is purple and it has a bunch of like Sailor Moon signage on it all over the place, including the crystal and a bunch of constellations of all of the different Sailor Senshi signs. The bottom of it says Sailor Moon, and that's it. There is that really pretty silhouette of Sailor Moon on the front of the zipper pouch part. There's nothing special about the back of it, but the inside does have an extra little pocket, so you can stick like your keys in there. There's no zipper or anything like that, it's just really cheap, foldable little tote bag. Now when you want to fold this back up, here's what I recommend doing. So first thing you want to do is unzip it, then fold the zipper pouch backwards so that it's hugging the tote bag basically and the tote bag's inside of it now and then i fold the tote bag down and then i fold it up from the bottom so that it kind of wraps in there nicely and then i take the rest and i just squish it all in there it all fits very nicely on the inside and then you just take the zipper part and you zip it up and it has a little keychain holder on the end so that you can hang it from your keychain or your backpack or whatever. These are wonderful, especially if you live in an area like I do where they no longer give out plastic bags. So these are great for taking to the grocery store. Now along with that one, I also got this one which is called an eco-friendly bag. It's 100% reusable, so cute. I mean, so is that one, honestly. But this says it's called an Envirosac. Okay, so it's by a company called Envirosac. So this is like a little collaboration item. But this is the same thing. It's another tote bag that you can reuse all the time. So this one has a little button that opens or closes it and features really pretty watercolor art all over it. And if I open it all the way, you will see that it has all of the Sailor Senshi on the front of it. And it is a nice big tote bag as well. Now this one does not have any kind of extra pouches on the inside or anything like that, uh, but it does say on here that you can wash it. So wash separately before use, 100% polyester, and then it says how to fold it. So you fold it in half, fold the handles down, fold it again in thirds, and then just wrap it up. So it should wrap up nice and tidy. So I'm gonna try that. Fold it in half, fold the handles down, fold it in thirds, and then Wrap it up. Oh my god. I did it. Did you see that? I did it. Oh my god. That's cute. I like it. Okay, next we have a whole bunch of blind bag items. Now I did get to tell what these items were before I purchased them, but I don't remember, so this is gonna be a surprise. So first we have pins. We have little pin badges. So this one features Hotaru. Very cute. This one features Rei. Sailor Mars, and this one features Sailor Saturn. So two of my favorite Sailor Senshi, yay. The next blind bag I got is this really big acrylic keychain, and I do remember which one I got. I really wanted to get Sailor Moon, but since she was blind bag, it's hard to find somebody reselling her, but I was happy that I was able to get Sailor Mars. So this has a cute little star-shaped key ring up at the top, and it has a chibi version of Sailor Mars in the center, and then it has this really pretty design all around the sides. This last item, I don't remember what it is. Oh, oh wow, okay, that's tiny. That's surprising. This is a teeny, teeny, tiny little chibi moon, and it is so small, wow, it is, that is really small. I don't recall what I paid for this, but I feel like it was rather expensive for such a teeny, tiny little display. <laughs> 
that's a little surprising. I might just resell this because it's so tiny. All right, I also got a pair of socks which feature Pegasus or Helios. And these are adorable. On one side they have the stallion reeve and then they also have Pegasus on the other side. So very simple, cute little ankle socks adorable. I also decided to purchase this cute little drawstring bag. Uh, this bag was super, super soft. It's made out of the same kind of lining as the slippers are, so it's very soft. It's also got the cute little Usagi bunny rabbit on the front of it, and it's a simple drawstring pouch, so I can use this to stick little things in and then use little ribbons to drawstring it. On the back, it also says embroidered Sailor Moon, so you know that it's Sailor Moon. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. I got a bookmark that features Sailor Saturn because she's one of my favorites. I'm actually gonna open this. I wanna take a look at it. Where's my knife? I lost my knife. Where did my knife go? That's not a good thing to lose. I found my knife. I'm gonna open this because I wanna look at it. Oh, that's pretty and it's heavy too. Wow. So yeah, it's a very simple Sailor Saturn. Uh, gold in color, but just simple metal uh, bookmark. So I have a book that I'm currently reading and I can put this bookmark inside of it. So that'll be fun. I also got a few pins. So I got these Luna and Artemis pins, which are kind of ridiculous and derpy, but I thought they were so cute. So they do dangle at the bottom and then their heads is where the actual pin is. I just thought they were adorable, so I just had to get these. And you can definitely see a trend. I got the Sailor Moon Usagi Bunny Rabbit, so I thought that was really cute too, and I just love this. Also from Sailor Moon Crystal. You see this bunny rabbit everywhere in that anime. With that same art, I also got this cell phone stand. So this is a cute little cell phone holder that you can use with Luna and Artemis on the front of it. And it is acrylic, uh, which means that it has like that nice transparency to it. And it's really heavy and durable, it seems like. So I'm excited to use this. This I saw all over the Instagrams. People were loving this. Uh, this is a collection of stickers and I believe these are vinyls. They are vinyls. Finals. That's wonderful. I can put them on my computer and stuff. So we have Chibi Sailor Moon. We have a Chibi Venus. We have a Chibi Saturn, a Chibi Uranus, Chibi Tuxedo Mask. We have a Luna, Mercury, Pluto, Neptune, Mars, Jupiter, Chibi Moon, and Artemis. So everyone that you would expect is in here. And this is such a cute little collection of stickers. I just love these. I can't wait to use these too. They're just so cute. This was the very first thing that I decided to purchase from the Taiwan pop-up shop uh, when that happened. So these are gold foil cards, playing cards specifically. So all of them feature all of the different Sailor Senshi and on the back of them they say Sailor Moon Crystal. Now these are pretty hard to see as far as what numbers they are that you're playing. So I can't imagine that I would actually use these because that would be pretty complicated unless I was like trying to make everybody's lives harder. Who's on the Joker? Oh, it's the Compact and oh, the Moon Chalice. Interesting. So these are really pretty though. Um, I'll probably just add them to my collection. I don't think that I'll actually use them. All right, and the next thing we have is an acrylic display. So this is just a display of all of the Sailor Senshi and it was just so pretty and I like the 3D effect of all of the different Sailor Senshi. So at the very front we have uh, Michiru and Haruka, uh, Neptune and Uranus, and then behind them we have Sailor Moon and behind her we have the rest of the Sailor Senshi. Is Pluto in there? Yeah, Pluto's in there way at the back and Chibi Moon is also on there. So I just thought it was a really pretty stand. I thought it was really cool and I like how they designed it. So I wanted to add this to my collection as well. Okay, we're almost done. Next, we have a whole bunch of water absorbent coasters. I bought this whole series. It is not every single one in the collection. These were just the ones they had in stock that I wanted to get my hands on. So I got a silhouette of the cats. I got a silhouette of the inner senshi. I received all the chibi inner senshi, so cute. All the chibi outer senshi. I also got the inner senshi from Crystal, the outer senshi from Crystal, uh, this super vibrant one of Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon, and that's also from Sailor Moon Crystal. And the last two feature Princess Serenity from Sailor Moon Crystal. 
Uh, the very last one also has Prince Endymion on it too, and she's holding a bouquet of flowers that's really pretty. So I like these, and I also like the ones that I received from Qpot, specifically because they are water absorbent. Uh, if they weren't, I probably wouldn't get them, because I like to use coasters that actually absorb water, like that's the whole point of them. So I got each of these for, I want to say around $2 each. They were pretty cheap. This is an umbrella. I have gotten so many umbrellas that feature Sailor Moon this year, like, it's crazy. There's no way I can use all of them, which is fine. It's probably a good thing I can't use all of them. So, if I can get this out, I know this is going to be impossible to put on, so I don't know why I just took this off, but it has Sailor Moon's bunny rabbit on there. So this is supposed to be a replica of Sailor Moon or Usagi's umbrella from Sailor Moon Crystal. Uh, this one is pink instead of red. I think they were selling a red one too, but I like the pink. Okay, y'all are seeing it for the first time and I'm not. I'm kind of jealous. Ugh. Let's take a look. All right, so we got bunny rabbits. We got crescent moons. We have sailor moons, heart compact on her fuku bow. We have a bunny. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay, this is adorable. I'm really happy I got this. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, it looks like it looks like it's the same size as some of the other umbrellas that I've gotten recently, so I'm happy with that. I know this is not going back on, so I'm not even going to try. All right, last items all kind of go together. So the first one of these is a white ceramic, very nice tumbler. Uh, this features Sailor Moon silhouette on the front in a pretty rose gold color slash light pink. Uh, and then in the background, it just has like a little collage of all of the inner senshi signs and their names. It says Sailor Moon, and then it also has Luna in gold on the front of it. On the back of it, it says Sailor Moon Crystal, and then it has a little pink uh, crescent moon behind it. And the inside is very simple. It's just white. It does come with this lid as well. So that'll be really nice for drinking like, you know, hot things out of. To go along with the same theme again, I have this very cute mug. Uh, this features Sailor Moon's bunny rabbit. It says Sailor Moon in the same cute font. And then the other side also has the bunny rabbit on it. This is also Sailor Moon Crystal, and the inside of this mug uh, is very simple white. So probably not machine washable. However, it doesn't say anything about that. So maybe? I don't want to chance it though. I'll probably just use this for displaying things. Uh, this one is pretty similar to a previous one that I've purchased, but this has all of the Sailor Senshi around the edges of it with their silhouettes. And it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal, all in gold, and then it is a simple black mug. So very pretty. Also very big too. I will use this mug. It's nice and large, so big enough for me to drink like my hot tea out of and stuff like that. And I do believe that this one, if it is just like the other one that I have that's the same black color, it will be machine washable. So I'll be able to stick this in the wash and be able to dry it just fine. This one is probably too pretty to use. Uh, I'm wondering if this came with a couple of other items because the notch on the bottom looks like it's supposed to fit inside of something, but I'm not really sure. Maybe if I bought multiple of these, they could fit inside of each other so I could stack them. That's probably what this is for. But this is a cute, cute little simple mug that's very, very pretty. Nice fine details up at the top in gold. It says Sailor Moon on the front of it. And then on the back we have the crystal. So we have the Silver Millennium Crystal and it's just a simple white mug with a little gold handle. The last mug that I got is honestly too pretty to take out of the box, but I will anyway. So this mug is probably my favorite one that I got. This one is so pretty. This one is also pretty thin, so I feel like it would break easily. So I'll probably take care of this one. I probably won't use it to actually you know, drink any drinks out of it. But on the front, it says Sailor Moon on it, and then it has Sailor Moon looking to the side, her profile, and it's in a gold foil as well. It's a light pink mug with a bunch of polka dots all the way around the edges, and then on the back, it says Sailor Moon Crystal, and it does have some gold foil detailing around the top and the bottom, as well as the handle. Whew, that was a big unboxing. That was a huge haul, so I hope you enjoyed it. It took a long time to get through all of that stuff, but all of it is really cute and so many of these items are super useful, so I can't wait to add these items to my collection and 
probably redecorate back here because it's getting a little cluttered and crazy. So let me know what you think and if you have any questions about the products that I opened. If I remember the prices, again, I'll put those down in the show notes for you. However, I believe that none of these are currently available online anymore. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more unboxings just like this one. And of course, if you want to see future videos coming out on this channel. Thank you so much again. I'm Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Johnny.